Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here. And somehow this is still spinning, even though it shouldn't, if we watch down here. You see the spinning thing is standing still. Oh, now I fell down. Uh, doesn't really matter. Something weird has happened here. But welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I said last episode I'm starting to feeling a bit under the weather. And uh, <laughs> look, turned out I have gotten a cold now. So, so maybe you hear some sniffles or coughs that I have missed editing out this video. Oh, now it stopped. Uh, then you know why those are. And I apologize in advance if I have missed any of those. Today, my plan is to continue with the Sora Domain quest here at Toto Lake. I think we need to quick travel back there and just talk to him again. Because we need to find that missing piece. And that missing... Um, that missing... Uh, Transcript piece over at Photo Lake. I have no clue where it could be. I was thinking up there, but <laughs> last episode, but now that I'm thinking closer, why should it be up there if the thing has broken down here? So we're just gonna maybe it's somewhere nearby, just in the in the sludge or something. So I'm gonna take a look around there. And also maybe talk to him. He, maybe I missed some uh, some little clue on where it could be. And I also quickly just now when I'm having this cold, I have not the most energy to record as well. So probably instead of two episodes per day, it will probably be one episode per day until I'm more. Wait, wait. <laughs> now I saw something here. Is this? It's the same color. Let's. Uh, oh my! Was it was it here all the time, all the time? Can I? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes you miss the easiest things. I will. Uh, I will blame it on my cold. <laughs> oh my god! Like that. Up. I'm not sure what I'm doing at the moment. There we go. And this looks like it should fit also, yeah. What is this? The stone slate. I can't hardly believe my eyes. Link, I must thank you. You're welcome. Ah. Took, just took, uh, took a, a bit of time. <laughs> ah, incredible. I can finally read it. Yes. I very well can. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks, you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of king. To do this task, and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge resting spot with your own two eyes. That that which connects the Sora to the people of the sky. This is an extraordinary discovery. This important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. Hmm, though in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. Oh, do I have to use my brain once again? Uh, one, difficult one, diffi one difficulty has been overcome, and yet another one has appeared in its wake. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorifan. I assume that he will be returning from his investigation of the sludge shortly. Well, we know where King King uh, Dorifan is, because we found him last episode. So I guess we should go to him now. Let's just... Uh... He had to suggest speaking with King Durofan, exactly. And he was in the, behind that um, this waterfall, or was it this waterfall? Some of the waterfall here. Uh, he was under. So maybe if we can just run here, we will reach him quickly, more quickly than quick traveling back to the Sora village. Oh, nice. 
I get to take the aimbot every day. It's a good little eye to have. Yeah, it's this waterfall, right? But straight in, straight to the bottom. Oh, I think this one we should dive into. Yeah. I did find you. Bye bye. Okay. And we click quickly. Dive down here. But this is the wrong waterfall. <laughs> Which waterfall was it then? And yeah, now we're inside the uh, Sora domain. Oh, was it the waterfall up there? Oh my god. I think I jumped too too far down. And also I need to think, because I walked there. Oh, no, it's this right here. It's here the entrance are. So I stood corrected either way, huh? Can we ascend here, or is it too far? Oh my god. I should probably just... <laughs> Should have quick traveled, as I said in the beginning there. Because this is not possible now. Yeah, let me just quick travel. Sorry for that little miss. Miss happening. Um, I guess there. And then just quickly travel down. Oh my god. Yeah, this is at least quicker than going from the Sora domain. And yeah, my brain is really feeling mushy today when I'm this um, under the weather. <laughs> so, <laughs> have some oversight over my like brain zaps when I um, do things like this. Go to the wrong place and everything. Here we are. Ah. The hell? Couldn't I stand here? Yeah, I could stand behind. Yes, yes. See? Even those small details I have already <laughs> forgotten. Now we're on our way. I'm continuing this quest. Let's talk again. Tell me, Link, has any progress been made? <laughs> ah, so you have spoken with Yehato. So you say that the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored? Hmm. Indeed, I do know of, of it. The mark of the king refers to a Sora king scale. One of my scales, in other words. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned in an ancient ritual. However, none remaining who know... However, none remain who know how it was used. If this particular scale of mine may prove useful to you, by all means, take a few. There is no need for restraint. This is as nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. Wahaha. <laughs> Five king scales. Sora king bear the scale of the forehead. Uh, on their forehead. They bear this scale on their forehead. It sparkles in different ways depending on the angle from which it, it is viewed. They were once used in ancient Sora ceremonies. After all that has transpired and after much reflection, I have come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of king to Sidon. King Dorofan. In any case, that is a matter for another day, after the chaos surrounding the sludge has quieted. I don't think Mese want him to, to retire. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the King Scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. So we <laughs> up we go again, I guess. Uh, close to the sky, stand upon the land of the sky fish and behold this lofty view. So we're going... 
But what of the landscape? But what of the land of skyfish and Okay. Sidon of the Sora. Okay, we wanna first of all talk to him and then we would probably go back there or something. Uh, oh my god, every button wrong. <laughs> Quick travel. Dude, I got some news for you about your daddy. Ah. ah, Link, have you made any progress in your search for Princess Zelda? Hmm. What? You say my father was attacked by a monster. And that Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him? What could that possibly mean? Well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let out our concern overcome us. Link! Thank you for telling me about my father. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, not to mention the monster that, and that filthy sludge. It seems our course is skyward. We know not. We know. We now know that the mark of the king written on the slate refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is that of the land of the skyfish and the floating rock in the shape of a droplet. Stand upon the land. Of the skyfish, that must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I am sure that if we locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. So I guess we gotta go back to Jihato and talk to him. And also, is this anything here looking like a droplet? No. <laughs> is it maybe up? that because that water looks climbable uh, but I'm guessing we're stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view among the floating rocks you see a droplet waits for you through this droplet shoots an arrow with a mark of the king do this task and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing you learn the mark of the king is the Sora's king, king scale but what of the land of the skyfish and the droplet. I think this little island is really sus just because it has water that I can climb up of. But I'm not sure, do we wanna just quick travel back to Jihato and talk to him again? Maybe he has some, some thinking about the uh, droplets? I will do that, even though I might don't have to or should. <laughs> okay, it was the, the wrong episode to have to use my brain today, but it's okay. We, we will manage. Maybe it's just gonna take a bit longer time than, than it usually should. Now it's someone new here, so I think we this is actually good for us. The Mark of the King. Ihato. Hmm. Ah, Link, did you figure anything out? Yes, I did. What? Could it truly be? The King's scale is actually the Mark of the King? If we apply that understanding to the words written upon the sta stone slate, we would get... Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the king scale. Do this task and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge resting spot with your own two eyes. That which connects the Sora to the people of the skies. Mm. Still, the land of the skyfish and the droplet found there. I have no idea what that could have been referring to. If you must shoot an arrow through this droplet from the land of the skyfish. First you must find the land of the skyfish. Well, that's logical. <laughs> logical. I have never heard of such a shape. Perhaps it's truly is in perhaps it is truly in the shape of a fish as the text text describes. Hmm, 
I'm quite stumped on this one. If only I could use my fins to soar, then I could look down upon the whole of everything and figure this out. If you could do such a thing, then we would have no need to figure out this mystery in the first place. That is true. I wonder if there is a way to find them from here on to find them he from here on the surface. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Something that should look like a fish. Like if I watch um, here. There is a fish island. Nice. We're going there, I guess. And that is... If I'm looking straight. It was that thing. Oh my god. So I was correct all along. Nice. So uh, just travel back then. <laughs> But it was worth going here, because he gave me the idea of looking at the map. That don't look like a fish from here, but it do look like a fish from this map. So that's nice. So I thank you for the inspiration I got from Yihato there. What is this? Mifa Court Security Report. Day in and day out, the sludge never stops falling. Thanks to the tireless effort of Prince Sidon, the water flow flowing into the domain has been kept somewhat clean. Sorry. But the mountain path to Toto Lake and Dunma is completely covered in sludge. Then you want to sneak over there. Remember to bring a lot of splash free fluids. That I already know and I got a lot of... Maybe not the splashy fruits. I have 48 of the chuchu jelly, and I should have 20. Uh, I have some of them as well, but more of these, which are nice. But we don't need to throw it right now. So I guess also quickly change to our armor so we can swim up that waterfall. Do I really need to? This looks a bit sus. Do I need to climb it from here? <laughs> And how? Okay, nice. It did it by itself. Floating Scales Island. We have proceeded on the main quest. Let's clean this up for a bit. That's the wrong button. Also, wanna just quickly loot these chests? Uh, not chests. Uh, what's it called? Boxes. Always arrows, which is nice. And this one. we also need to clean. Oh wow. That's <laughs> that's my aim today, huh? And it told me to s let's read the 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 clue here again. Among the floating rocks, you see a droplet waits for you. Sh through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Okay, so we're gonna need a one of these floating stones. We look there is the droplet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here we should shoot with the king scale. Should be somewhere here, I think, I hope. <laughs> Probably in the end, yeah. And boom. Nice. to the sky complete. Okay. Sidon, we want to hear about this. It's a lot of <laughs> quick traveling back and forth, huh? Ah, here we can just glide. That's more nice, actually. 
probably quicker than the loading screen. Ah, so now he's here. Lady Yona. Ah, they are back to each other. Lady Yona, it is far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. Darling, I came here to because there is something I need to speak with you about. I have been thinking for quite some time. Hmm. Oh. Hello there, Link. What has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? I sure did. You solved the ancient stone slate's riddle and the pillar of light appeared? The words upon the stone slate are correct. A path to the sky may open up if we investigate that location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. <laughs> My dear Sidon, I think that you should go with Link to investigate the Pillar of Light. As I was just about to say, for a long time I have been concerned that you are, you are holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But my love, if you and Link join our your powers, I'm certain you shall be able to overcome whatever dangers await. Hmm. That is undoubtedly true, however. <gasps> whatever is troubling you, Sidon, why are you hesitating so? Hmm. I... It is simply that... What is this? Oh. Huh? The hell? Oh, it's one of those guys, huh? Ambusher of Mifakort, sludge-like, damn. That monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Sidon! We can take care of the water at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. You're right, as ever. It is up to you, my lady. My lady? Link, please, I must ask you that you fight at my side once more. Of course, dude. I guess this beast should be weak to the water, because it's covered in that sludge, and then we can attack it or something. The beast is protecting its body with sludge. It might... It's a mighty opponent, certainly, but we must not falter. When an oppor opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in, a, in water, thusly shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Oh, now we have a new power here. Sidon's power of water. When Sidon's aura is charged, he can create a bubble of water that blocks an incoming enemy attack. If you swing your weapon, this water will be channeled into a long-range strike. Nice. Oh, damn. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, god damn. Okay, it shoots quickly. <laughs> How can I use the power? Okay, first of all, change weapon to a one-handed, please. Second of all, eat some food so I don't die, please. And third of all... <sighs> Goddamn sludge. Third of all... No. Change. Okay, I have correct shield on. I need a better bow. Because that bow is breaking. Th that is what I wanted. Because here... That's the most used. I should have water over up here. If I do this. Uh, okay. Now. We should be able to just crit it somehow. Maybe not with that. Does it take damage from water? No. Oh, there it is. Boom. Also, do we have anything better? I have this. Can I become sludge again? I should probably try his power. But it's just easier to do that. <laughs> then we wait for his ball to appear. Ah, oh, damn. Ooh, I was just healing. <clears throat> That's bad. So how do I... Oh my god, I need to read all this. So how do I use his power? <laughs> Actually. I'm gonna skip all this, because we read it already. Oh. 
Oh. It's good to know two sludge hits and I'm also dead, so I really need to heal quickly if I take hit damage. The sludge is actually quite nice because he lets us talk <laughs> before we start fighting. He lets us finish our talk here. Yes, I will help you once again. Okay, now I have his. Oh my god. Wrong. Okay, so I should just talk to him to, to activate it. It's the same as the flying thingy. Also change bow. And then... Boom. Here we take this. Nice damage out. He will back up. Here we also want to clear some of the sludge over here. Nice. <laughs> he stood in the way. And here we all can also just... Okay, give me my power. Boom. Nice. Oh, it clears a lot. So we should use that for clearing as well. And now we will shoot. Ah. Boom. This is actually great damage out. My dude is ready again. Let him just appear again. Now we're ready. And just wait for him to open his mouth. I think he will shoot sludge now. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna die this time. <laughs> I won't... Won't have it. There we go. That should be enough. That was a cleaner performance than last time. <laughs> you did it, Link. Take that foul beast of the sludge. Is everyone alright? They was like, ah, we didn't even notice that. <laughs> We're unharmed. Thank godness, Lady, o Lady Ona. If something had happened to you, I... <clears throat> In any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. <sighs> Thank you for the sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. A pillar of light that he, that appeared, that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling from the sky, or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dearest Sidon. Uh, your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Mm. Well, uh, of course it would have been best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. <laughs> Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not be on our own for long. We shall just be fine. Hmm. But... Sidon, my darling. I truly appreciate that you worry so for my safety. It speaks to your kindness in your heart. But you are the Prince of Sora. One day, you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right through you, whether you want me to or not. You are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... Come now. Enough is enough! She's mad now. You're not acting like yourself. Hey now. You must leave this place to me. Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self, like I always yes, do. Yes. 
It's alright, I swear it. I am not going anywhere. I see. And there is. And there it is, clear as day. I was giving in to my fear of once more losing someone I loved. I... I... Aha! You're right, Yona. I will not give in to this fear. Not forsaking my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. Nice music. Off we go, Link. To the Pillar of Light. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. Now we got Sidon back. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> it seems Sidon has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I'm so glad. All this time he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister, Mipha. My poor, tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknownly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. Whoa. Yet he has overcome this trial and, play trial and placed his faith in me. At least the Sidon I know and love has come back to me now. Link, please take good care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun in my sky. Dude, I will protect him with my life. A royal claymore. Thank you. Dude. Where did you go now? Okay, so we're going down there now. I guess... Just fly down is easiest. Bugs me that we have a death uh, cross on my uh, map here. What a really... Weak death of mine. <laughs> I guess that's what you get when you only have 6 HP. And you're... Um, Really easy to kill. Are you gonna talk about the light that appeared? I guess so. What is that? Over there, what is that? Something resembling a pillar of light has appeared east at the East Reservoir Lake. I wonder if this too is related to the upheaval. Dude, it probably is, huh? That must be... That is the clue for reaching the sky. Ooh, is it cutscene time? Hmm. Maybe not. Yes, no. What was that? Hmm. Never mind. Now is not the time for flights or fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? some crazy speed. <laughs> I will dive in, dude. I really thought we would go up to the sky mount, uh, sky temple up there, but maybe this is some way up. <laughs> uh, let's read here. You may find a clue about the watery bridge among them. Upon jumping into the whirlpool, you found a vast space filled with ancient ruins. Okay, <laughs> so I'm alone over here. 
That's a little chest. I'm gonna start by grabbing. Yep. Ooh. It's an attack, a high attack power when it gets wet. So this is perfect with the. I will drop that because that's soon breaking. Um, with his, uh, with the water ability we got from the Sora Sidon. Here is something we should destroy. Looks like, at least. Oh my god. Oh. Nice. that thing <laughs> oh that's just a a well with water but it's no water there this one we should destroy and I think we need to blow up Ah, there also. Can we ascend here? Or is that impossible? And I cannot climb it. Yeah, I can climb it. But it's wet. Which will probably make me fall when it's... Underneath, yeah. Let me get up here. Oh my god. And jump. Yes, perfect. Boom. <laughs> Got a bit wet from that. That we want. I guess we dropped that one. Guess that's the last one I should reach, or is it one before that? Also, I wanna just quickly take a look in this cave hole here. Looks a bit sussy. Oh my god. What do he... Why is he like... Okay, it's freezing, so I need fire on him. Oh my god. It will like... Yeah, but it's probably easy to hit him again. No. Why don't you burn off my fire again? Okay, you need to check. Oh my god, that's bad. That's really bad by me. It will have time to recuperate. Yeah. Okay, give me the place up here instead. Now we let him freeze again. Boom, boom. And now fire. Boom. Go to the side. That should be enough. Wow, my god. It wasn't. It's the slow attack speed, I guess. Let me just destroy him with this. Now oh, that was enough. Oh. 
That one is actually not worth it. The funny thing, I have three skateboard shields. I have never used them since I crafted them. Ah, oh, nice. I will just aimbot this dude. Ah, oh, almost. That questline we need to continue on, because we have a lot of uh, those bubble gems now. It's a big, big cave. Let me fall, please. Oh my god. That was a bit... Wishful thinking of me, huh? Thinking that would be enough. just need to explode nearby so is this enough oh my god maybe we should aim also that wasn't enough huh so i need to personally go in there that's annoying ah we have a spot here <laughs> let me just find it there I was pixel perfect needed for utilizing that. So if we can just go up here. And I will fall. And jump. And then I will fall. And jump. I should be able to... I thought. To stand here. Yeah. And then just refill that. And here. From here we can glide. Oh, it was just... Ah, oh, it's behind. <laughs> so the thinking is... what? I need to... Do I need to ascend? Looks like I need to ascend on the other side, but how? <laughs> okay, let's just keep looking a bit here. Ah, oh, maybe into that little... Uh, the one right here. And this will take us... Yeah, 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 yeah. Some one of these two, at least. Oh my god. Boom. It's here. Yeah. That's the stone I recognize. I guess the stone is just placed here if you don't have one of these. We're approaching the... I guess the entrance to the temple now. Ah. OK, 
Okay, let's go. Exciting stuff, huh? Got a way up now. Waterfall. A waterfall descendant from the sky? Link, what happened? Is this your doing? It is. Ah, so you activated a mysterious device in the ruins? And then the waterfall appeared. Hmm. Ah, I believe I understand. Kosora, a waterfall is no different from a path. That must be the meaning behind Watery Bridge. Yes, it must. If we climb this waterfall, we shall ascend into the sky. Link, I knew, I knew you could do it. My belief in you is as well placed as ever. It is, dude. Huh? At light again. It is happening again. Is someone calling to me? What was that sound I just heard? Well, in any case, we now have a path forward. All that is left is to press uh, press ever onward. With your Sora armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. Let us be off to our next adventure, Link. Let's do it, boy. I feel a bit strapped on food, but we will manage. Such a nice little animation going upward here. It's going quick also. Eww. And we're at the Will Spring Island. I guess they are enemies, <laughs> those blobby things. Oh, it's like uh, low gravity up here. Damn. That's a nice little detail, actually. What happens if I shoot this? In the middle, maybe also. Okay, nothing. Maybe I can climb on them because they are like water droplets going upward. What is this place? My body feels light as a feather. This is a strange place indeed. But right now, we must focus on locating the source of the sludge. Link, it is time to divide and conquer. Let's split up for the time being. Divide and conquer. Mm, we split up. <laughs> I'm going there, I guess. But it's like, do we have a... Oh! It's, it's a dangerous jumping here. You can really easily just fall off. I want some type of shrine here, so I can just quickly teleport. Is it here the water droplets are spawning? And I can swim them, okay. Feels like it should be a shrine or something over there, because it's enemies. Let me just quickly go over here and kill them. 
you didn't take damage. Yeah, you do. Why didn't you take damage on my first hit? Maybe not a two-handed. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't use the air, air attack. You just jump past them. Uh, something that don't he he like all thousand HP. Wow. Wow, I'm so bad today. That was a bit awkward. Two deaths in one episode. And also from these not so hard enemies also. Wow. I give up on life. Okay, so a hit of his does more than five and a half damage. Good to know. <laughs> Do I have any simple food I can eat? Yes. Is we will probably focus this dude first. Let's just up the damage a bit. And then also on this dude. Oh my god. I don't wanna get one hit once again. Let my friend just do all the hitting, I guess. No, we're going up to him. Oof. <laughs> that was almost a death again, huh? I tried to jump at the right time, but I didn't manage. Yes, we take this. Always nice with a sturdy wooden th stick. Yeah, you can throw your stones. They're going in slow-mo. Oh, <laughs> that was nice. A crit in the air on him. Do you have anything else that's bro breaking soon? It doesn't look like that. This is more like it. Ah. Thank you. Missed one. Are you stuck in your own sludge? Maybe it's not your sludge, but... Actually, it's not, because you're just guardians for the Sonai people. Hello! Crit! Ah. I don't even want that loot. We can... ...tell ourselves at least. Ah, see, it was a chest at least. No shrine, though. Big battery, nice. Okay, we can just ascend quickly. Take another way back to see if we have some loot up here. And also nice to... Don't have to, like, move away from the sludge. This is... no. But that fighting against those Sonai guards, or what is called Construct Guardians, Construct or what it's, their name are, uh, was a bit awkward fight, huh? To die two times. Or was it even three times? I don't remember.
It was a bad performance either way. Ow. Good job. Okay, so they expire, huh? That's good to know. Can you spawn? And here I guess I need to, like... Swim over to our next one soon. And I guess we can ignore that one and just go to this. Oh, that was close though. But we managed. Three hits. Four crits. One crit. Two crits. That went through him it looked like. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I'm aiming for your head, not your shield. Nice. Yes, let's make a wep some of the weapon uh, with that new this one. Those feels uh, strong. Yeah, 25 damage. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> Think about the gravity. So, this probably. If have some type of use. I can pick them up, huh? So can I, like, um, can I fuse them on a weapon, maybe? <laughs> to get a, like, on this one it would be do good to have. Because that one gave extra damage. <laughs> okay. So let's try this. Yeah. That's at least something. That's cute. Hydrant. This looks like it has something of value. Okay, it's just some loot. But this we need to take a quick picture on. That's good enough. Oh my god. No, I could have a sender there, but sometimes the sends take more time, I feel like. Here we, we just wanna throw a water fruit, it's easier. And I guess we're gonna get a waterfall here, yeah. So if we jump into that, we get a, like a j extra jump. Ah, it's a chest. That one we want. Yeah, 
It's nice that you don't have to push a button to get the auto swimming upwards. Because I feel like I would have failed that <laughs> a couple of times and then just fall straight down. Hoverstone. There you have a shrine. Let's go to that first then. Ooh, and also one of these dispensers. But looking at the time on this episode, we have approached the one hour mark. So I'm gonna be a bit mean here and end today's episode here. I hopefully will start feeling better soon so the episodes can keep on coming more than once a day. But for now, this couple of days until I'm feeling better, it will be roughly one episode per day. And also, if you have enjoyed watching this episode, please like as always and uh, subscribe so you don't miss out the continuance on this little platform in the next episode. This has been 23. I will see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye bye.